What's up, Cameron crew? Quiet on set. Lights, Cameron, action. I'm not wearing any pants. So I hope my balls aren't hanging out. Um, I'm recording this at almost midnight. I just got off of work. So I'm mustering up every blood cell, every brain cell, every lick of energy I have in me to record this right now. But we have some things to get into. We have some tea. We have some major tea to spill. What am I serving today other than looks? Tea, bitch. <gasps> oh. I just saw what I looked like in the viewfinder and I'm actually not serving looks so I'm gonna take that back but I am serving underwear realness <laughs> this is lights camera action with your host Cameron and I'm so excited to get into this topic what's that TikTok sound Ooh, I've been waiting for this one turn it up the customer is always wrong we're gonna get into all the tea we're gonna talk about all the humbling experiences, the toxic co-workers, the psycho managers, the unfair wages. We're going to get into all of that this episode with work culture, working a nine to five, being a corporate drone. <laughs> Shut up. Learn to speak. Sorry. Okay, I'm trying. No, you're not trying hard enough. Try harder, bitch. Sorry. Um, I think I have an alter ego. His name is Randolph. And he comes out sometimes. He's a 60-year-old man that lives inside me. And sometimes he takes over. Whenever um, whenever I'm being a stupid fucking idiot, Randall or Randolph, whatever the fuck his name is, he takes over my body. And I'm realizing I sound like I need to be put in a straitjacket. So I'm going to tell you all about the experiences that I've had at work. I'm going to give you advice. I'm going to tell you about all the times that a bloody tampon fell on my hand. A woman accused me of spitting in her food. Psycho managers asking me to work on days I had school. And everyone in their life should have to work a customer service job at least once in their life to know how god awful it is because it is truly humbling i was not the nicest kid i was a very bratty kid okay i'm aware i was going through puberty but by the, by the time i was 16 and i got my first job i was reborn i was reincarnated as a very humbled person whenever you go into the workforce they're gonna ask you to do some nasty things like take out the garbage clean the bathroom mop the floors i didn't even know how to work a mop does anybody actually know how to work a mop because i don't i had to figure out how to work a mop i had to go mop the bathrooms i went to the woman's bathroom and my manager forced me against my will to replace the trash a bloody tampon fell out of the bag and fell on to my hand on my hand someone's tampon that was in their cooch cooch 3000 <laughs> was now laying on my hand don't ask me how that happened because i still don't know and i said i have two options one kill myself <laughs> two clock out or three chop off my hand but I went with the clocking out option. I told my manager, I'm done for the day. <laughs> I'm done. Hey, 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 mama. Along with all the humbling experiences that happens at jobs, you deal with toxic coworkers. I caught one of my coworkers going through my phone. Don't ask me why that happened because I still don't know. That's a story for another day. But on top of that, psycho managers. At the same place with the tampon incident, I had a manager. This was my senior year of high school when I was working there and my manager, expected me to take off on my school days to go work at this place i told him my availability whenever i first like got hired and he was like yeah like we can work with that i was like okay slay let's do the damn thing and about a month into my job he's like hey cameron can you work tuesday at six in the morning and i was like tuesday that that's a school day i will be getting ready for school on tuesday at six in the morning and he goes yeah yeah but like can't you like take a day off there i said oh you want me to take a day off at, of my senior year of school have you heard hey have you heard of truancy hey have you heard of breaking the law hey have you heard of labor laws 
And he expected me to take off of school to go work at this food place for $8 an hour. Sorry, I'm at $8.25 an hour. $8.25 an hour. That extra quarter was very important. And I was like, sir, um, I like, and the thing is my manager, he had kids. I was like, hey, like, would you ever want someone asking your kids to take off of their senior year of high school? Most arguably the most important year to go work at this food place so I can go serve some customers some soup. Um, no, sir, that's not happening. No, it's not. Rob, sorry, I'm like literally telling you my whole autobiography about all my workplace experiences right now, just so we can get into the gist of why working is fucking sucks why it's so bad oh god it's so bad if you don't like a job quit just quit just leave go into your boss's office and be like hey mama i'm out <laughs> teleport out of there as soon as possible because they will literally replace you in two seconds to them you are a robot behind a counter they could not care less about you if you are required to put in a two weeks to quit a job managers should be required to give you a two weeks fired notice like hey girl you're out. Ew, why did I make a gun sound? <laughs> like they were gonna kill you. <laughs> You're out. Bye bye. Bye bye, mama. Okay, wait, that was so good. Why am I so good at gun sounds? Call me some more gun sound gun sounds I should try. Okay, but I was working at this one job, okay? This is whenever I was a photographer. Why have I lived in nine different lives? Hi. I was working as a photographer and it was just me and my man it was just me and my manager i got a text my mom texted me oh my god she never does that it was just me and my manager and we hired all new staff so my manager i was basically an assistant manager and i was helping train everyone and it was a lot of fucking work by the way i was hustling i was working like nine hour day so i'm training this girl okay it's her second day there boy do I, did i get a rude awakening because i was training her i was teaching her literally how to do everything i was teaching the girl how to clock in she goes oh by the way how much do you make an hour you know what i love about our generation though we are so transparent about how much we make we don't give a fuck like i will literally tell anyone how much i make an hour i think it's actually very important and i do have a hot take i truly believe that all corporate professionals especially in like our parents generation they thought it was taboo to talk about how much you make at the workplace because it leads to competition jealousy and it just is a private matter that shouldn't be discussed i highly disagree i think the taboo of not being able to talk about how much you make in the workplace is actually a ploy to cover up unfair wages i'm like oh i make nine dollars an hour the gasp this girl let out of her she said oh! and i was like oh my god what and she said you make only $9 an hour? I said, only? What do you mean only? I said, how much do you make? I'm expecting her to say $10, $11, which already I was like, that's fucked up. If she makes $11 and I'm making nine and I'm the one training her, that's, I, I'm going to commit a crime. This girl, if you're driving, I want you to let go of the wheel and jump out the window. If you are doing laundry, stop folding those damn clothes. If you are cleaning, put down the Clorox wipes, put down the Windex. If you are driving, let go of the steering wheel and jump out the car. This girl tells me, I am making $15 an hour. <laughs> Fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars an hour. I'm training her while making nine. You were getting paid almost double what I am and you've been here for two days. I've been here for three years and you mean to tell me you are making fifteen dollars an hour while I'm over here not even making ten. I said, OK. Mm hmm okay 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 so the next day i sat my manager down and i said manager how much am i making she goes nine dollars and i was like mm -hmm. it needs to be 15 or i'm leaving and i'm usually not that bold but something came over me that day something told me that if i did not get 15 dollars an hour uh, uh, within the next hour i'm going to blow this place up i'm going to 
order an airstrike on this portrait studio if I do not get $15 an hour. I have never been so bold in my life. I've never been so confrontational, but something brought it out of me, dude. I was so... I have never been so angry. I was shaking, driving home. I was physically vibrating in my seat. I was a human vibrator. I was, so, oh, oh, I'm getting mad again. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. My palms are sweaty. Knees, weak arms are heavy. I'm so mad that I was getting so royally screwed over. So I'm emailing HR. I'm emailing the district manager. I'm emailing my manager. I said, did I get 15? Did I get 15? Did I get 15? Three weeks later, it should not have taken three weeks. They finally got back to me and they finally said, we can't give you 15, but we can give you $14.50. They were at my mercy because they had a whole team of people who didn't know how to do anything during holiday season. And I was the only one who knew how to do stuff other than my manager. So like if I was gone, the whole place was going under. So they had like, they had to meet my demands or else. So, oh my God, I sound awful. I sound like a dictator. <laughs> No, but like I'm so like it was so warranted though So they said we can give you $14.50 and I was like, okay So I saved up as much money as possible and then I quit that hoe I quit that hoe so quick and I got my new job, which I work at right now, which is very chill I really like it there. I love the peeps. I love the pay. Everything's good. Everything's chill apart from all the bad shit <laughs> That will drive you to a mental hospital if you work in the customer service industry The worst part is sometimes just the customers the customers are always wrong 90% of the time it can be something as small as like they could be like, oh, do you have this specific type of creamer? And you're like, no, we don't carry that. And they're like, yes, you do. And you're like, um, no, we don't. No, we don't. And they're like, yes, you do. And I'm like, why the fuck did you ask? <laughs> why the fuck did you ask if we carry it if you don't know? But now all of a sudden, you know? Four plus four is eight. But this shit ain't adding up. Customers will literally gaslight you gaslight you girl, gatekeep you and girl boss you they'll do all three <laughs> um and customers will literally like make you question like whether or not you will go to jail that day like the amount of times customers has some said some dumb ass shit that has made me want to leap over the counter and commit a crime on the clock wow you will actually meet the worst people possible working in customer service because if some they don't like something about the company girl they will take it out on you i don't know if you've had a job yet but if you have good luck <laughs> good luck <laughs> it will turn you psycho it will literally like it will make you think like wow do i actually like am i going to fight someone right now because the way this per i know this person is not talking to me about this i know this person this person is not getting this mad over their four dollar coffee i know this person is not getting this mad because their mobile app or whatever is not working properly and they think it's my fault oh they think that they don't like the prices as if i control them the amount of times customers have scoffed at me scoffed yes scoffed at me went <coughs> because I like they thought something was so expensive and they thought I made the price go talk to fucking Bill Gates or whoever the CEO is go talk to Jesus whoever made the prices go talk to him because I get paid minimum wage to deal with your <laughs> your mouth <laughs> I get paid minimum wage to deal with your mouth yeah I said it I'm coming for all the the, the mean customers in the world I'm coming for you I'm coming for you yeah I don't make the prices I just press buttons and check you out. Hi, I just press buttons and check you out. I beep boop bop your total 742. I don't make the prices. They're like, can I get that discount? No, you can't. You're mean. <laughs> no, you can't get that discount. I hate you. No, you can't get that discount. You were mean to me earlier. You scoffed at me earlier. There are some good parts to working. <laughs> There are some good parts. Listen, okay, there are some good parts. Like, I think the only good parts are your coworkers, which don't get me wrong. I've had some psycho ass coworkers in the past, but I've also had some really good ones. Like, one of my best friends, 
we started off working together. Like I literally was training her and we were co-workers and now we're besties. Hey Mackenzie, hey Mac, shout out to you. The trenches, we were in the trenches working in corporate America together. Like working with your friends, like you are bound to set the place on fire. You are bound to mess something up, jam something, screw something up together and laugh about it. That is like the best thing about working with your friends. <laughs> Me and my friend, we would literally go into the freezer to talk shit about everyone. <laughs> The freezer is our tea time. If you've ever worked at some kind of barista job before or restaurant or whatever, if you have those headsets on, that is where the tea is spilt. The tea is teeing. The tea is piping hot. The kettle is uh, beeping, steaming. The whole nine delicious tea has been delivered, served and delivered over those headsets. But me and my friend, not only was it the headsets, but we went into the freezer, bitch. We went into the freezer to talk our shit. It might've been 34 degrees in there, but that is where we were safe. We went into that freezer, locked it. I don't know if we locked it. Actually, that might be a safety hazard. <laughs> we went in there though, and we we had our little meetings. We'd be like, oh my God, did you see how she did that? Did you see how she didn't do her work? She didn't do any of her side work. She didn't clean for shit. I, she called out of work, but I saw her at a party. That is the, that is the ooh. That's like the only good part of working. That's about it though. <laughs> I think what sucks the most is like whenever you go to work you are not treated like a human like you when you're behind that counter whenever you are on the clock you are expected to be a corporate drone you are expected to stand behind that counter and shut up and smile and say hey how are you good good can I get you anything else whenever what you really want to do is leap over the counter and strangle someone <laughs> strangle someone in their jugular. You'll meet the worst of the worst of people, but hey, you get a really good story out of it. But I've been on both sides of the fence too. Like I've been on the side where like, sometimes an employee is super rude. And I'm like, hey, like if you hate your job and you hate your life, don't take it out on me. I'm just, I'm just here to get my coffee. I know sometimes like the workers are understaffed. They're running around with their heads cut off. They're freaking out because someone didn't come in. They're behind on drinks or whatever. I get it. 100%. So if something's not right with my drink, um, sometimes I just take the L. But sometimes I'm like, okay, no, this drink was $8. I'm going to go and tell them they made it wrong. And I'm super nice about it. My problem is when people aren't nice about it. Because at the end of the day, it's just a coffee, sir. Get your life. Um, but I'm always super nice. I'm like, hey, like my drink, like it, I don't think it was made right. It doesn't taste how it usually does. I usually ask for this many pumps, blah, blah, blah. Super nice about it. Usually they don't have a problem. They don't care. They remake it. And they're like, thank you. Have a nice day. Perfect. Some people are just menaces and they want to fucking throw the drink at them and they want to cuss them out. And I'm like, okay, you deserve jail. Yeah. And also, okay, what, what the frick, dude? What the frick is up with all the tipping now? And I don't even want to get into the whole tipping thing because I don't want to get into a scandal. But let's talk about it. What is up with me going to get a smoothie at like Smoothie King? or wherever I get smoothies. And then I get like, I go up to the little Samsung Galaxy tablet that I used to pay. And then it says, please leave a tip. 5%, 10%, custom tip. How about no tip? How about no tip? Okay, mama. Okay, how about no tip? How about, what if I had a bomb? Okay, no, stop. I, what if I had a rocket launcher in my back pocket that I'm not afraid to use. <laughs> what if, no, stop. I have a chainsaw. I have a chainsaw that I'm not afraid to crank up. I'll like go to Chipotle, they ask for a tip, okay? I go to Starbucks, they ask for a tip. I wouldn't be surprised if you go to like a Target self-checkout and they start asking for tips. It's like, did we forget what the concept of a tip is? If there's some kind of like long-term service, like if they're like a waiter, of course I'm going to tip. And I usually tip over 20%. But like, if I'm just going through a fucking drive through and you get paid, like your whole job, like your whole job is to make the coffee. The coffee is already $9. You think I can give 12 like, that's just crazy. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? That scared me, y'all. I didn't know that. That one was a jump scare for me. I didn't know that burp was coming. Another tip I want to give for if you're going into the workforce, if you are going to get your first job, your second job, your third, hell, your 60th job, if you ask to go to the bathroom, 
You better take as long in that bathroom as possible. You better scroll through TikTok. I want you to laugh at some memes. I want you to laugh at some TikToks share them with your friends i want you to maybe write a book on that toilet i want you to maybe write an autobiography on that toilet i want you to write an mla formatted essay on anything you want in life i want you to practice reading a thesaurus i want you to write a song i want you to make a little movie on the toilet okay wait hold on (laughs) pause pause wait no that's not what i meant i want you to just steal as much company time as possible i want you to sit on there for 30 minutes and that better be the longest shit of your life because what do you owe these people what what do you owe them nothing like what are they gonna say you didn't pinch your shit off in time oh well you had the shit oh sorry my breakfast burrito i ate this morning was fire hosing out of me hey i was rocket launching off of that toilet hey what did you want me to do go help a customer while there's nutella sliding in between my cheeks (laughs) like what are they gonna come for you for maybe i have ibs if you go to the bathroom do it on the clock you should be on that toilet for so long that they're knocking on the door being like are you okay And then you say no and you sit there for another 10 minutes. If you're watching this on YouTube, comment your worst job experiences. I really want to know. I really want to know your worst customer experiences, X, Y, Z, et cetera. Tell me the rest. I want to know everything. I want to know everything. Tell me. I want to know about your psycho managers, your psycho coworkers, your psycho customers. Tell me the whole nine and tell me your advice that you would give those who are now starting their first jobs. The one thing I wish I knew whenever I was starting my first job is to not give a fuck. Do not give a fuck. Because you are so replaceable and you are just a corporate drone while you're there. So I think that's it for this episode. If you're watching on Spotify, give us five stars. Us. By us, I mean me, my split personalities. It's literally just me here. Um, Oh my God. Okay. Um, I'm going to go respond to these texts now that I'm getting so often. I swear I never get to, oh my God, I'm so popular. Like I'm literally never, I'm never, do y'all hear that right now? I'm so popular. I'm so popular. I swear guys, I never get any texts. Like this is very rare, but okay. I gotta go. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. If you're on Spotify, rate this five stars. If you're on YouTube, give it a like. Oh, Okay, bye.